This new smartphone in my hand is the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. It's got a lot of us tech reviews excited because it's pushing the boundaries of what we come to expect from a Huawei smartphone, including camera, build quality, and that absolutely gorgeous and curved display. But this is the Android smartphone that comes without Google mobile services, and I've been using this for a while. So in this video, I wanna share with you how I got around that issue, share with you where I'm downloading apps and my top used apps on the Mate 30 Pro. Welcome back to the channel. Guys and girls, you're watching me, M. Kwan, here on M. Kwan Reviews. This is the channel where I discuss my passions, including technology and lifestyle. Now, the full unboxing and review for the Mate 30 Pro will be live later on, so be sure to hit subscribe so that you're notified when that video goes live. So I've been using the Mate 30 Pro for over a week now, and let me just say the hardware is incredibly impressive. I don't wanna to give too much away because I leave that for the full review, but I just wanted to take this opportunity to show you my home screen because these are majority of the apps that I use. And as you can see there, I've also got things like Google Maps as well. If I swipe across here on the side, you'll see even more apps that are available. And I guess this is the first thing because some people will assume that getting the Mate 30 Pro will not allow you to download apps because it doesn't come with the Google Play Store. But that's not an issue because you can work around that. So in order to work around that, the first thing is that most of us, when we buy an Android powered smartphone, we load it up for the first time. That smartphone normally comes with the Google Play Store and that's what we use to download the majority of the apps that we're looking for. But as time has gone by, more and more manufacturers are installing their own app store onto their smartphones and their devices to give users more of a native experience when it comes to those apps paired up with the particular devices. And Huawei is no different to this. They have their equivalent of the Huawei app store, I'm gonna call it that, but they call it the app gallery. And it's been around for a while. If you load that up on the Mate 30 Pro, you'll see that there are a range of different apps that are available. Now, when I spoke to Huawei, they told me that they are constantly updating the apps that are available on the app gallery. And what I did on my smartphone was that I actually downloaded quite a few of the apps from the app gallery directly onto my Mate 30 Pro. So again, it didn't require me to kind of go out and try and look for the Google Play Store or some way work around that. It was pre-installed on the Mate 30 Pro right out of the box. And to give you an example of some of those apps uh, that I managed to download, things that are much more native to this part of the world, like Khalid Times, Noon for the shopping, uh, the Dubai Mall app, the uh, RTA app, my the Salat app and a few others alongside that. Now there will be some apps that are not available through the app gallery and for that there's another solution. So that solution is going to require you to get a third party app store and what I found from my experience is Aptoid which is this one over here and the Amazon app store are incredibly good at getting the apps that might not be available currently on the app gallery. Now, essentially these are third party app stores in the same way that you would expect from Google Play Store or even the app gallery, a range of different apps uh, that are available for you to download. Now for me, I got majority of the ones that were missing like TikTok, Instagram, uh, Google Maps, Twitter, Facebook downloaded directly from Aptoid. And for some of the games, uh, Amazon's App Store is actually pretty good to download from there. Now, as far as installing those are concerned, really simple, most of you will have your browser on your device. Just put in the name of the store like Aptoid or Amazon App Store, and then hit install for both of them and they should be there on your home screen. So I mean, for me, in between the app gallery and that third party app store, that's how I've downloaded majority of the apps that I would use on a daily basis. And for me, a lot of those apps tend to be social media apps, things like Instagram, TikTok. Yeah, I know I am on TikTok, um, Facebook, Twitter, all of those have been downloaded via the Aptoid uh, third party app. And the really cool thing is, is they work just as you would expect them to work. There's nothing different about that there. Uh, they work perfectly fine. This is Instagram. Uh, let me quickly show you Twitter as well. This is my Twitter app, works perfectly fine 
on my Mate 30 Pro. When they need to be updated, you'll be notified about that or you can check that out yourself within the third party app that you downloaded them from and then you can just update them directly through the app. Now, um, there are going to be some apps that are still not available. Um, what I found, particularly on the social media element of it, is apps like Snapchat, uh, is currently uh, unavailable either via the app gallery or through the third party app store like Aptoid. A couple of the games uh, struggle as well. Um, Call of Duty, for example, Fortnite, um, haven't really been able to work on the Mate 30 Pro. But I think give it time and with the way that while we are working with some of these uh, app developers, um, hopefully more of those apps should be coming to the app gallery. The other thing to point out is uh, apps that are very tied in with the Google mobile services. So we're talking about Gmail, we're talking about uh, YouTube. Those unfortunately are still not working in this current format with the Mate 30 Pro, but there are workarounds for that. Let me quickly show you the two workarounds for Gmail and YouTube. So for me, Gmail is pretty easy to set up because I've just used the main email app on the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. I simply put in my credentials, my username, my password, and now I've got Gmail working on this through the native uh, email app that's available for the Mate 30 Pro. Really simple and easy. If you really want to be picky and have that, you know, Gmail-ish experience, then you can save a link as I have done over here on your home screen and that will load up Gmail in this mobile web version. Um, it's not the best solution, but it is easy to work around that. So that's pretty much two solutions for the Gmail. YouTube, that's something that unfortunately at, at the moment as it stands, it's not currently available as an app. So you're gonna have to use the mobile version of YouTube. Oh look, that's me. Uh, but the easy way around that again is just log in, you'll be able to comment, you'll be able to like, you'll be able to see all your subscriptions that are available, uh, but it's gonna be in a web format. Now a couple of the other apps that I wanna quickly mention that I've used, Snapseed, it's a great app that I've downloaded from Aptoid. Um, if you take some incredible images with the Mate 30 Pro camera, you'll be able to just enhance, edit those images and take them to the next level. So Snapseed is gonna be really useful for that. Skype works perfectly fine on this. And of course, WhatsApp as well. Um, so, I mean, this isn't the perfect solution to this issue, but I would hope that you can see that it's actually probably one of the easiest solutions. Now, if you're looking for a much more technical solution that will require you to kind of download files and you know plug in a USB flash, to your device. There are a couple of good tutorials that are out there. I might post one or two in the description down below. But for now, and for majority of users, um, I think this is quite a simple solution. Is it the best solution? No, it isn't. The ideal solution would be to have no restrictions with those services on your Huawei smartphone device. But hey, we're in this situation at the moment. We've got to try and look at solutions. For majority of consumers outside of China, um, I feel like they're missing out on the opportunity to own a smartphone uh, like this. It has incredible specs and due to this issue that's taking place, whatever the politics might be, whatever the background issues might be, it's just depriving consumers with a choice of a really powerful smartphone for them to decide if they want to purchase and be able to use unrestricted. I'd love to know your thoughts, so do take this opportunity to leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about my workaround for the lack of Google Mobile services. Be sure to smash that subscribe button down below, hit like, and I will see you in the next video coming up soon with a full unboxing and review for the Mate 30 Pro. Until next time, I'm Mkwan, peace and blessings.